Hey everybody, welcome back to CSS3 in 30 days. Today's day number 29, and we're gonna just do something a little simple. We're gonna be creating a blurry depth of field, blurrier images, unblurrier images effect, whatever we wanna call it. Essentially, you can make images and elements blurry and transition in and out of that blurred effect to whatever degree that you wish with just CSS3. Now, typically before you'd have to do this with uh, Photoshop, or maybe even like a jQuery plugin or something like that, but we can do that in CSS3 and it's really cool. Now it's quite simple in its, you know, in its basic form, but you can do a lot with it. If you had layered elements and you wanted certain elements to be blurry in the background and certain ones to be, to be focused in the front, like a legitimate bl depth of field effect where your, your focus point is on a specific layer and then the other ones come in and out of focus, you can, play around with that. But in this case, I'm going to show you just simply how the blur effect works. And we're just going to, to blur and unblur and transition in and out of that with CSS3. So here we go. Day 29, the blurry effect. So we just have four images here that are just standard stock images. But down here, what we're going to do is we're going to have them start out as blurry once we kind of hover in view. And then when you focus on one, it will kind of come forward and be within focus with the other ones be, being blurry in the background. When we hover out of that, it should go back to its blurred state. And we can also hover to a different one. It will switch. And now that one is in focus. This one is in focus. This one is in focus. A good uh, practical example or practical use of this specific demo would be um, perhaps portfolio images or a gallery of images. Now, the blur effect here is quite dramatic. Now you don't have to have it be that dramatic of a blurred effect, but maybe in some cases that might be what you want. So let's jump into our code editor, download day number 29. And then as you can see in our markup here, uh, we simply just have four images. There's nothing crazy about this at all. It's quite simple. Head to your sandbox and let's start coding. So we're going to select the depth gallery. That is the div that wraps the four images. And we're simply just gonna position relative and then display inline block. Then we're gonna select the depth gallery image. So all the images, we're gonna give them a border of solid. Let's do eight pixels or seven, doesn't really matter. White box shadow. We're gonna go zero, zero, five pixels and then RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and then 0 0.3. And then we'll say cursor pointer, because we're hovering over it, we want that interaction. You don't have to, you can change it to a crosshair. Let's do that, that'd be fun. And we're gonna say transition. We're gonna transition the filter property because we're gonna be using the CSS3 filter property. I'll show you in a moment here. 0 0.3 seconds, linear. We're also going to transition the transform property at 0 0.3 seconds and linear as well. Save that. Now, if you go to our browser, you can see the images now have a nice little, uh, like a nice border, a white, a white border around it with a little bit of a shadow. It's just a nice, a nice way of displaying an image. Just makes it look nice. Gives it a frame. Now we're gonna go back here, we're gonna say depth, gallery, hover, when you hover over the entire depth gallery, and then image. So when you hover over that element, the entire parent element, parent element, do something with the images. And that's simply gonna be filter, so we can apply some graphical effects. We're gonna say blur, and then five pixels. So that's how you do that, that's how you blur an image. Check it out. So when I hovered in there, so I'm out of the element itself. When I hover into that element, it's gonna blur everything, five pixels. Now you can have it be more exaggerated or less exaggerated by changing the value higher or lower. This is one pixel, very subtle. And if I did 10 pixels, you can't even recognize what the image is really. So there we go. I'm gonna stick with, let's say four pixels. And I'm gonna transform it uh, and I'm gonna use the scale value here. And scale is simply just the size, the scale of it. Do I want it to be one would equal 
it's not going to do anything. It's going to be its normal size. 0.9 is 90% of its size, both height and width. You can have it be two and it'll be twice the size. So you can scale an element, any element using transform scale, save it. Now, when I hover into the depth gallery, everything shrinks 0.9 and goes blurry to four pixel blur effect. Okay. And the only thing we have to do now is when you hover over say depth gallery image and then hover over an individual image, we're going to filter, we're going to overwrite that filter property and blur to zero. So just back to a standard in focus image, transform scale, and then 1.1. And because we're transitioning the images, everything is got a nice kind of fluid transition in between. So save it now, let's check it out. We hovered in, everything goes down to 0.9 and goes blurry. You hover over one, comes up into focus and is a little bit larger. When you hover out onto a different one, one goes back, one comes forward. Nice and simple. So that's it for today's demo for the blurry effect. We simply played around with filters uh, the filter blur and the transform scale. You could do everything from transforming and rotating upon that uh, when you hover. But because this was about blurring images, we're simply using the filter blur effect. I challenge you to take this a little bit further. I showed you how to use the blur and transition in between uh, in focus and everything like that. But I challenge you to do something exciting with this. Maybe have the images individually be stacked in front of each other, have them be cascading out in front of each other. So you could see an image and then one in front and a little bit down and another one in front and a little bit down and so on and so forth. And when you hover over that image, you know, maybe pop it out of like a deck of cards and have it come in focus and the other ones go blurry. Or maybe you, you have separate individual PNG transparent elements, like a scene. You have maybe three trees or something like that. And when you hover over one tree, that one's in focus. You hover over this one, it's in focus. The other two are blurry. Almost like if you were a photographer and you are, you're uh, photographing someone and you want to uh, put a certain element in focus and have you know the background be blurry and the foreground be blurry, but this one single plane of focus. That's kind of what you're doing here. So I challenge you to experiment with this and don't just leave it here. I've given you the tool and now I want you to play with it a bit. So see what you can come up with and I will see you in tomorrow's final lesson, day number 30. So I'll see you there and have fun with the blur effect. Cheers.